Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial by Simply Learn. In this session, we will be learning what is Kotlin. Kotlin is widely used for Android development and is used by more than 60% of the professional Android developers for their projects. So let's go ahead and understand what is Kotlin. So we will start by why Kotlin language, then what is Kotlin, then we will understand the history of Kotlin language, then we will move to its features and uses, and at last we will cover the companies that uses Kotlin language. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. So why Kotlin? Kotlin is one of the fastest growing and widely used programming language. In May 2017, Google announced it as an official language for developing Android applications. After this announcement, the jobs for Kotlin increased in large numbers. Since then, the job openings for Kotlin gets doubled every three months as per DICE. It is very easy and friendly language. Also, it is quite easy to maintain and debug this language, which is why it is a good language to start with. Kotlin has a bright future as it is being widely used for Android development. Companies like Google, Netflix, Pinterest are some of the companies using Kotlin. So being a Kotlin developer will boost up your career growth. Now coming to what is Kotlin? Kotlin is an open source statically typed language designed by JetBrains. It has both the features of object oriented programming and functional programming. Kotlin is interoperable with Java. That means both the languages can share and use the information and just like Java compiler, the Kotlin compiler also generates the bytecode which can run on JVM. Also, we can say Kotlin is kind of Java with some added features. Even the Java libraries can also be used in Kotlin project. Although Java is a really cool language, the developers of Kotlin focused more on simplifying the code and increasing the transparency. Now let's learn some history of this Kotlin language. The development of the Kotlin language was announced in the year 2011. In 2012, the first web demo of Kotlin was released along with the new logo and became an open source. Then in 2014, kotlinlang.org was released along with some features to increase the interoperability with Java. In the year 2015, some new features were added like the companion objects, multiple constructor, etc. After a quite long development process, Kotlin 1.0 version was released in February 2016. It was developed by JetBrains in Russia. The developers of JetBrains were fed up with the repetitive code, so they wanted a much modern language. But the problem was most of their code was already written in Java and switching to some other language would create a bigger headache for them. So the team decided to create a language which is compatible with Java and with all the features they wanted. So then they created the Kotlin language. In the year 2017, Google announced the first class support for Kotlin on Android. Later, Kotlin 1.2 was released with features like sharing code between JVM and JavaScript. After that, various versions were released like Kotlin 1.3 in 2018, Kotlin 1.4 in 2020, Kotlin 1.5 in 2021, etc. Now, moving on to features of Kotlin language. The first feature is Kotlin language can be used on multiple platforms which reduces the time that is spent on writing and maintaining the code on different platforms. Kotlin doesn't depend on virtual machine on the target platform. Next is Kotlin has some modern features like null safety which is a feature to reduce the problems associated with the null references. Then the lambda function which is an anonymous function and the smart casts which are used to track conditions inside the if expression. Next is, in Kotlin language there are many extensions which allows us to add the functionality 
without inheriting from the class or any decorative pattern. This feature makes the code easy to maintain and read. Now coming to another feature of Kotlin which is in Kotlin functions can be passed as parameters to the function. That means function act as a variable and just like the variable it can also be passed. It is also known as higher order function. Its functionality is to do two things. First to take the functions as parameters and second to return a function. Next feature is Kotlin is compatible with Java. It is fully interoperable with Java and you can convert the Java file to the Kotlin file with just a script. Also it works on JVM and Java libraries work fine on Kotlin. Next is in Kotlin there is a data class. A data class is that class which doesn't perform any operations and only contains state. The advantage of this class is that it provides self-generated code and avoids the implementation of methods within the class. Now coming to uses of Kotlin. Kotlin is used in web development. It is compatible with Java and also much easier to work with. Also Kotlin works fine with Spring and some other frameworks which makes it an easy replacement of Java when it comes to web development. Next is Kotlin is used in data science as well. Because of its features like null safety, statically typed, maintainable code and also being a language which runs on JVM makes Kotlin a good choice for working with the data. Next is it is used for Android development. After Google has announced Kotlin as the first class language, the user's interest in Kotlin language elevated to a great extent which resulted in creating a large community of Android developers going for Kotlin. This language allows the developers to write more expressive and concise code and its interoperability with Java is one of the main attraction to choose this language. With Google's statement, not only the Android developers but also the app development companies are opting the Kotlin language. Similar to these uses, there are many more uses to the Kotlin language. But now, let's move on to its applications. So we'll start with Google. Google widely uses the Kotlin language. Not only they have declared it as the first class programming, but they also use it in their production code. Google also implemented Kotlin in more than 60 applications such as Google Home, Google Maps, Google Drive, Google Pay, Google Sheets etc. Similarly, Airbnb which is an American company that operates online marketplace for lodging and home stays to vacation rentals also uses Kotlin language for their Android frameworks MVRX for a seamless experience. Other companies like Zomato, which is India's largest food delivery company, also uses Kotlin for the Android app, which has helped them to reduce the lines of code and made the code a lot more concise. Next is Netflix. Netflix is world's leading streaming service also used the Kotlin language to rebuild their UI player for the Android app of Netflix. Next is Uber. The American mobility company Uber that provides services like food delivery, ride hailing, package delivery, couriers etc. uses Kotlin language because of its popularity for Android development and its interoperability with Java. So these were some popular companies that uses the Kotlin language. Similar to these companies, there are many more companies like Pinterest, Tinder, Slack etc. that uses this language. Now let's have a look at what we have learned so far. In this video we spoke about why Kotlin language, what exactly Kotlin is, then history of Kotlin language and some of the features and uses of Kotlin language. And at last we have covered the companies that uses Kotlin language. And with that we have reached to the end of this video. I hope you find this video helpful and informative. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. 
I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and keep learning. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.